When it comes to boating insurance, nowadays there are dedicated maritime policies. The size of the boat typically is measured by uh, engine output. So if you have a 25 horsepower rubber dinghy, then you might have coverage under your homeowner's insurance policy. But if you have anything that you might be taking people uh, wakeboarding on or, or water skiing on, it's unlikely that you're gonna have any coverage under your homeowner's insurance policy. And that injuries arising from, say, wakeboarding are probably not gonna be covered. So if someone drowns or if someone is injured by a propeller, you can imagine how high those damages might be. And so it is important if you own a boat that you are separately insuring your boat and getting a maritime policy. You know, another factor that people don't really think about is if you own a boat, you probably own a cottage and you probably own a house. And if you don't have a separate maritime insurance policy and someone gets seriously hurt in a boating accident, they sue you for that loss and you have no insurance coverage, you could ultimately lose your house.